Toyota Castles Field in Sparta for the latest rivalry game, and Sparta pitcher Cole Patton gets the Lions to go 1-2-3 with this strikeout to end the first inning. Bottom of the second is Ethan Guerrero sending this double down the line, and Sparta has a runner on second with one out. Next batter up is Cole Patton. He helps his own cause here as he rips the single to left, setting up runners here at first and third and still just one out. The Spartans take a 1-0 lead here off the old Jeff Nelson fake the third throw and first the pickoff attempt goes out of play as Guerrero scores. Bottom of the second in Pope John's center fielder Ryan Casey lays out and makes the great diving catch, robbing Cameron and Stanislaw of the base hit. And Sean Roberts gets the strikeout here to finish a 1-2-3 inning as the Spartans lead 1-0 after two innings of play. Top of the third and the Lions record their first hit of the game as Joe Millar lines this base hit into center, but he's left stranded and the score remains 1-0 Sparta. Bottom of the third and Sean Roberts of the Lions is really finding his groove as he pulls the string and gets the 1-2-3 inning with the K on this nasty pitch. Top of the fourth we go and with two outs, Hunter Silvernail is trying to start a rally for the Lions as he singles the left, but he's left stranded and Sparta still has that 1-0 lead. Bottom of the fifth and Pope John pitcher Sean Roberts is cruising as he picks up another of his six strikeouts on the day to finish another 1-2-3 inning. We move to the bottom of the fifth and with Spartans on second and third and one out, Sean Roberts gets the big strikeout to keep the runners at bay. Those runs do cross the plate, however, as this ball is misplayed, allowing Eric Castorina and Eugene Jerome to score, and Sparta now has a 3-0 lead over their rivals after five innings. Top of the six we go, and the Lions try to claw their way back after a one-out walk. Hunter Silvernail rips his double as Justin Provost comes around the score, and Pope John cuts Sparta's lead to 3-1. To Bottom of the six we go, and after Cole Patton reaches on the error, Connor Coyle sends his towering blast to deep center field, scoring courtesy runner Eric Castorina as Connor Coyle hustles into third with the triple, and Sparta now has a three-run lead, 4-1. Then after a hit batsman puts runners on first and third with no outs, Coach Sam Sablosian calls for the squeeze, and Jared de Blasio lays down the perfect bunt, scoring coil, and Sparta has a 5-1 lead as we go to the top of the seventh. And the Lions go 1-2-3 as Sparta relief pitcher Connor Dick induces the 5-3 ground out as the Spartans take round one of the Battle of Sparta with a 5-1 win over their American division rival Pope John as they improve to 2-1-1 on the season. It was a great team win. Like we just played a great out there. Uh, we just made some big time plays out there and hit the ball. It was a big win. You know, Cole definitely executed exactly how we talked before the game. Uh, like you said before, we uh, took advantage of a couple uh, errors in the field from Pope John. But I think the big thing was just to put the ball in play. They had a great pitcher on the mound against us. He threw hard, good curveball. So it was just uh, just focus on getting him out of there as quick as possible and scoring as many off him as we could. I think today was just a manifestation of our efforts. Um, Early on in the season, we weren't really there as a team fully, but we've evolved. Um, last Friday against Manal, we really showed a lot of grit in our 11-inning tie, and so today we uh, we came together again, we rallied, and we beat a good pitcher. It was a really nice win tonight. today. Uh, I thought the kids played really, really hard today. Um, it's really important for, for us right now just to you know try to stay consistent and, and get off to a good start. So today was a, was a key day for us to do that, and uh, I thought we... Uh, did a nice job putting all the phases of the game uh, in there. And, and of course, uh, you know, um, Cole pitching just a great job today. Now, uh, what was working for you? Uh, my f pass fall was really like working for me. And same with my changeup. I got it low. It was good. Definitely the changeup uh, of all things today. Fastball, set it up, and then they were looking silly off of it. It was, it was fun to watch, fun to catch. Definitely, I think, his best outing thus far. Hopefully, he's got some more in him. Cole today, was, he was brilliant. I mean, he had everything working for him. Um, he attacked batters early with the fastball, established it, and then he had him guessing the rest of the way. His changeup was definitely on. It was moving a ton. He could command all three pitches, and it was just a great outing from him. I couldn't be more proud of, of Cole. He, uh, he gets better and better each time out. He's certainly going to be a, a special player for us here, and uh, uh, you know, sky's the limit on him. He can really, he can really bring it, and uh, today he uh, you know, it wasn't as cold as it's been, uh, so he was able to you know, feel a little bit more comfortable on the mound. Uh, things were going well until the, the rainstorm, but uh, 
but he uh, again I, I'm proud of him he, he let a lot of uh, batters off with a strike which is really important and uh, I thought he just did a, a really a, a super job today uh, let's talk about the uh, about in the um, in the sixth inning. You guys tacked on a couple runs. Uh, you know, you capitalized on a couple other errors, but you guys also put the put the ball in play too. So, uh, just talk about that. Talk about how important it was just to kind of tack on those couple runs and put this game away. Yeah, I mean, we harp on you know just you know, make sure that you still have good at bats, uh, quality at bats. So even when you have two strikes on it, you got to put the ball in play. And you saw that they did that today. Uh, you also saw base runners, you know, continue to run. Uh, you know, with two outs, which is really important, we ha which we haven't been doing. We we've had some uh, base running mistakes early on, so hopefully each time we can get a little bit better uh, as base runners. So early in the season, a uh, long, way, long way to go. You're going to see these guys again down the road, but uh, just talk about where you guys are now and how you're feeling. I'm hoping that we could just uh, get this as some momentum for like the next few games and hopefully we'll beat them the, uh, the next time too. Well, right now we're two one and one. Uh, it's just a good start to the season, definitely, especially in the league. We're one one. Uh, I think we we definitely want to uh, improve on last year. We were eight and sixteen. That was uh, upsetting. So we definitely want to get better from that, and I think we're on pace to do so. Well, right now, I mean, like I said before, we're coming together as a team. Um, we've got we got a game Wednesday, Friday, and I think we have a doubleheader Saturday. So it's just a matter of getting back to practice tomorrow and getting back on the grind. We're only two games in, so um, you know we're we have one win, one tie. So uh, it's still a long way to go, and uh, you know we're just looking forward to you know getting out here on on Wednesday against Par Hills.